Hello YouTube, Jackobino here, and I am playing some Kill Confirmed on Standoff. And today, I'm going to be having a topic of Black Ops 3 or MW4. And this video is going to be entered into a contest for the Black Ops 2 fan page, where they want me to talk about what I think about MW4, and what I'm going to think about Black Ops 3, and which one I think is going to be the next Call of Duty. Now, I'm going to add a third little option. Super Call of Duty, or Call of Duty Extravaganza, or something like that. Maybe a cooler name will be picked in the future, if they do do it, something like this. And I'll get into that soon. Let me talk about the MW4 first. MW4... Eh, not really seeing that being the next Call of Duty. Uh, it's not because I wasn't such a big fan of MW3, which I really wasn't. It was more. It's more so about where they took Black Ops 2 with the whole futuristic thing. If they didn't, <coughs> sorry. If they did the whole um, MW4 Modern Warfare kind of idea behind it. It'd be downgrading, really, because now they've taken a step forward with the whole new Black Ops 2 futuristic stuff. And it wouldn't really be Modern Warfare 4 because they'd have to do more futuristic stuff. Because with MW3, they did really all they could with Modern Warfare. And they did everything else in Black Ops 2 with futuristic warfare. Now, Black Ops 3, that could, that I, I believe that to be a little bit more legit than... MW4 coming out next. Uh, Black Ops 3, they can expand on this whole futuristic side of everything, keep going with the whole futuristic side, include new futuristic stuff, weapons, warfare techniques, etc. And they can really expand on the whole Black Ops futuristic series. Now, I was a little skeptical when they first came out, the whole futuristic idea, but I'm starting to like it, and it's starting to get much better. The only thing they need to work on with the whole Black Ops 2 thing is work on the servers. They're kind of crappy right now. But I would see M M Black Ops 3 more likely to come out next than MW4. And, and it's weird for me calling those names because I'm, I'm so used to Black Ops 2. I'm not really, I haven't really been looking towards the next game because I want to play this one and enjoy this one. But, for the sake of the video, and for the sake of the contest, I'm here. Now, let me get to my third option, that I included myself. Black Ops Extravaganza, Super Cod, something, something like that. I'll think of a name that sounds better. <laughs> but, um, which this game will be fusing COD 4, MW2, MW3, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, and World at War all into one game. Well, I'm not talking about have a six disc set kind of thing. And here's some COD 4 for ya, and here's uh, on another disc we got some MW2. No, 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 no. All in one game. And I'm gonna go through four aspects of the game right now, which will be campaign, survival and spec op missions, zombies, and multiplayer. Let me first talk about campaign. Now, the campaign is a shifty territory, really, with the whole fusing all the games together, because if they did that, it would have to be all of the same campaign. Now, I can see them doing something like this. If they had the same exact time periods for the games, like World of War, how to set that in World War II, and COD 4 during Modern War and stuff like that, and Black Ops 2 being futuristic, but have some side stories to them, different characters, the same setting, maybe same places, but kind of different characters, different aspects of the time, different times and places, and kind of make a whole new campaign, really. Because if they just did the whole, just the same old campaign, nobody would really get it for the campaign. They would get it for the multiplayer, but not really for the campaign. And with the whole campaign, plus multiplayer, plus zombies or spec ops, it's really how the whole Call of Duty series works and functions together. Alright, so next will be spec ops and survival. 
survival, have a survival map to be on every single map kind of thing, and Spec Ops missions, uh, you can have old ones, and I say include some new ones. If you bring back the favorites, redo them a little bit, add some more stuff to them, hey, I'll be set, I'll be happy with those. Uh, like Sniper Fee from MW2, which was one of my favorite missions ever. I've played that thing so many times, it's unbelievable. Or something like a brand new one that's implemented with it, and to have a mix of both brand new and old. And if they have that, people won't get bored, and everything will work out, really. Zombies. Bring back Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 zombie maps and put them all into one disc and have it all of a continued storyline. I don't know how they're going to have the storyline with the whole transit side of things, so I'm going to wait for the map pack to come out to see that. And have all those in one game, have it all in one story. Kind of redo them. Not by much, though. But, I mean, just kind of add new weapons, add more weapons to the mystery box kind of thing. Just, just not very much. Just a little overdue. Now, multiplayer. Biggest thing they could do with multiplayer is make a game like this. It would bring so much variety to the player that it would be unbelievable. So, let me talk about maps first. Bring back all the maps. Bring back every single map from World of War, COD 4, MW2, MW3, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. All those, bring them back. But redo them do them a little bit more make them better better graphics better setting do that kind of stuff with them like how they did terminal with mw3 and overgrown and crash with mw2 how they redid those and do it from there and this will make the lobbies much bigger more variety to the maps you won't be getting the same old 12 maps over and over again you won't be getting so bored of the maps and everything like that, excuse me. <coughs> My bad cough, sorry. I've, I've recorded this like ten times now. Because uh, something keeps interrupting it, so my voice is getting a little bit tired. But, um, redo the maps. And make them better. And if you do that, think how many maps we would have. The options we could choose. It would be pretty amazing. And now, for guns. Have all the guns. Bring back the guns. Now, think how much variety that will give the player. You can pick any gun from any Call of Duty. All in one game. You could have a MP5 from COD 4 and have a B23R as an attachment. You can have a. I mean, not an attachment, secondary. What the hell am I talking about? And stuff like that. Now, people would think, well, you're going to have to level up so much to get all these guns. Not true. I'm thinking that mostly the guns will be unlocked at the levels that they were in previous games. So, like, I guess, RPG was unlocked. Okay, for example, RPG may have been unlocked at, like, level 80. And... I think it's a lady in MW3. That might be um, MW2 where it's unlocked at like the last level. But have, but have it near maybe, or choose where you want that RPG. Maybe have the whole Black Ops 2 RPG level up, where it's unlocked at like level 20, 41, 41 I think, 41. So pretty far out there too, but it all really depends. And have all the attachments, new and old. Uh, customizing those will be amazing. Um, have all the all the camos from every single Call of Duty game on those guns. You can get gold, you can get diamond on most guns, stuff like that. Also, score streaks have all kinds of different score streaks, all kinds of different score, score streaks for each player. So you could put a lightning strike, chopper gunner from MW2 and then a swarm or attack helicopter from COD 4, etc. and just combine them. I am going for the variety for the player. This will give people so much variety. Perks, have the all the perks from every single game all in one. And, and just, this will give the player 
so much more variety, which is what they wanted to do in Black Ops 2. But I think they can do it with this kind of game. So, that's what I think. Black Ops Super, Black Ops Extravaganza, coming out with that. More variety for the player, better for everybody. Rate, comment, subscribe. Peace out, guys.